Welcome back guys, in the last tutorial, we have seen, how to get text into our screen, and how to use stateless widget. Let's clear all these, in this tutorial we will see, how to use stateful widget, and what is scaffold and app bar. Now in the main function, let's run a new material app. In the home widget we will call my app. It's showing an error, because we should use capital for material app. Now my app is showing as an error, as the function is not defined yet. Let's define it as a stateful widget. Three steps to be followed, for a stateful widget. First one, is extending our app as a stateful widget, then creating it, and built it. Now let's replace the container, with scaffold. Scaffold comprises of the whole thing which we see in a screen. Now let's run this, and see how the scaffold works. Yeah, this white screen is scaffold, and the widgets we use, will be displayed here. To use app bar widget, first define it as app bar. An app bar should have a title, so use the title widget. Inside the title we need to display a text. Just save it, to run. Okay, now we got our app bar, with our title. Let's see how to have a menu or search button in the app bar. Use the leading property, to have icons in the app bar. Inside the icon button widget, fix the icon you need. Remember that, you should use icons dot, to select the icon you need. Here let me use menu icon. Now let's save it to see the changes. Oh, it's showing us some error. It is because, we should use comma, after ending every widget. Now let's save it to run. Okay, we got our menu icon. Now let's try another icon. So, when pressing the add icon, it should display something, right? Use on pressed widget, inside the icon button widget, to do the action. Here, let me print, clicked once, to indicate the action is done, on clicking. And saving it to run. So, on clicking this, you can see that it displays click once. Now, let's see, how to have the title in the center. Let me shorten the title. Use the center widget, to get the title in the center. Now, we got our title in the center. Let me add more icons in the app bar. So, inside the app bar widget, use actions widget, to add more icons. Inside the action widget, let me use the icon button. This time, let me use the edit icon. If we are using an icon button, it should definitely do some actions right, so we should use the on pressed widget. One open brace followed by a curly brace. Within this unpressed widget, you can write anything, as we have did before. Saving it to run. So, here you can see the edit icon. Within this action widgets, you can use as many as icons, you need. 
Now, let me add one more icon button. This time, let me add a search icon in the app bar. To pick a particular suggestion, click it and press enter. Saving it. The error says that comma is not used. Now you can see that we got a search icon in the app bar. Thank you for watching. In the upcoming tutorial, we will see the types of the buttons used and how to get a button in lower end, the action it should do while the search icon is pressed, and the widgets that can be used inside a scaffold and many.